let's start our session. And uh, uh, now speaker is uh, Tatiana Tarasova with uh, the topic statistical properties of synchronous soliton collisions. Uh, you have uh, 25 minutes plus five minutes for questions. So let's start. Good afternoon. My work is aimed to address the problem of statistical description of nonlinear wave fields. The sum of independent random waves by means of the central limit theorem can be described by the, by the Gaussian probability distribution. In the case of nonlinear superposition or essential coherence of waves, uh, the theoretical description has not yet been developed. In the number of cases, a convenient approximation of a complex nonlinear wave field is an ensemble of solitons or a soliton gas. Solitons are exact solutions of integrable equations in the form of isolated waves, uh, which interact with uh, other waves elastically and live forever. Within the framework of integrable equations, uh, the evolution of each realization of a soliton gas corresponds to completely deterministic dynamics. However, it is so complicated that it can be considered as chaotic and then requires probabilistic approaches to the description. The role of random parameters in the soliton gas is played by the soliton amplitudes and uh, soliton phases in the initial conditions. In order to describe the soliton gas dynamics, uh, kinetic equations were derived. They characterize the transport of the soliton spectral density, but do not provide information about the wave uh, solution itself. In particular, the probability of extreme events cannot be evaluated. Multi-soliton solutions can be formally written in the closed uh, form using the inverse scattering transform. But these solutions are, are very cumbersome and their analytical analysis is rather difficult. The consideration of uh, simplified toy problems uh, seems to be a reasonable approach to understanding the laws of certain gas dynamics. Probabilistic characteristics uh, of pairs of interacting solitons were uh, already analyzed in the work of Pilinovsky and co-authors. Uh, and there, uh, the pairwise collisions were considered as elementary acts of soliton turbulence. In the present work, we have analyzed another, more complicated re representative case, namely exact solid multi soliton solutions uh, of the Kortebeck de Vries equation. The focus of the study is made on the dynamics of soliton interactions in the framework of the classic Kortebeck de Vries equation. It is integrable by the inverse scattering transform and represents a compatibility condition uh, of Lex pair. The first equation of the system is an associated scattering problem. Uh, its spectrum do not, uh, doesn't change with time, and soliton solutions correspond to a discrete spectrum with decreasing eigenfunctions. The second equation describes the evolution of the scattering data in time. The multi-soliton solutions, which are presented further, are obtained with the help of the numerical procedure, which, which is based on Tarbu transforms. This procedure made it possible to calculate solutions consisting of 90 solitons with a very high uh, accuracy. Each multi-soliton solution is defined with the help of the seed functions, uh, which parameters specify the soliton amplitudes and their positions in space. We consider synchronous uh, soliton collisions. Uh, that means that the uh, initial reference positions of all the solitons coincide with the coordinate uh, origin. This property can be formalized uh, through uh, this symmetry condition on the slide. And in what follows, uh, the soliton amplitudes are set decaying exponentially, so they form a geometric series uh, with a ratio d. The example of a synchronous collision is shown in the figure on the right. Uh, for large times, the soliton solution asymptotically tends to a linear superposition of separate solitons. This enables one to calculate statistical characteristics of the soliton gas uh, at asymptotically large times. Statistical moments are frequently used to describe probabilistic properties of irregular waves. Uh, in our work, uh, the statistical description is applied to particular realizations of a soliton gas, which are represented by exact multi-soliton uh, solutions. 
The first and the second moments characterize the mean value of the wave field and its standard deviation. Uh, these moments are related to the conservation integrals of the cartivic de Vries equation and therefore do not vary in time. Usually, one considers the third and the fourth uh, statistical moments, which correspond to skewiness and uh, kurtosis. They are not invariants of the cartivic de Vries equation and change their values during the interaction of solitons. The dynamics of the third and fourth moments are qualitatively similar. On this slide, the evolution of the first statistical moment is presented. The interaction of solitons leads to a decrease of statistical moments in comparison to the values of asymptotically large times. An increase of the number of solitons results in a decrease of the moments for independent and focused solitons. With an increase in the number of solitons, the dependencies of statistical moments tend to limit in ones. The figure on the left corresponds to the case uh, when the amplitudes of the solitons uh, are close to each other. Here, the obtained uh, dependencies demonstrate a long time interval within which the statistical moments practically do not change. On this time interval, the statistical moments uh, play the role of new approximate uh, invariants of the solution. They are not, they are not contained uh, in the list of conservation integrals of the cartivic de Vries equation. The first conservation integral can be expressed at the difference of two non-negative integrals. One of them determines the asymmetry. A solid and solution of the cartivic de Vries equation is non-negative at any instant of time, and therefore each of these two integrals is non-negative. The statistical moments decrease when solitons collide, and therefore it follows from the conservation law that the second term A uh, must also decrease. Since A is always non-negative, the admissible absolute minimum of the first statistical moment is realized uh, when the value of A approaches zero. At large times, the soliton solution can be approximated by a linear combination of individual solitons, and thus the values of the conservation integrals and statistical moments can be calculated analytically. This makes it possible to express the relative decrease in the statistical moments uh, through the integral A. According to the results of numerical simulations, it turns out that during a synchronous focusing of solitons with closed amplitudes, the relative reduction is close to three quarters. Uh, this situation corresponds to the uh, minimum values of integrals uh, mu3 and a, and at the same time, the realized minimum of the integral a is close to zero. This indicates some smoothing of the field. We have obtained a general formula for relative reductions uh, of all statistical moments uh, when uh, the amplitudes of solitons are close to each other. For this purpose, we used the property of the cost effect of this equation as an integral system, namely the existence of uh, an infinite uh, sequence of non-trivial uh, conservation laws. They may be presented in the following form as in a slide, which employs the similarity parameter epsilon. This parameter estimates the ratio of the nonlinear term versus the term of the wave dispersion for a given solution at a given instant of time. The smoothing of the wave field should correspond to the occurrence of very large values of epsilon at the moment of soliton focusing. Uh, it can be characterized uh, at the small dispersion limit. The values of the conservation integrals and statistical moments uh, uh, at large times can be calculated analytically for separated solitons. Uh, from this, we obtain an uh, analytical estimate uh, of relative reductions of every statistical moment. Note that uh, they are perfectly in line with the numerical solution. Here you can see the evolution of the parameter epsilon for the case of solitons with closed amplitudes. The parameter is equal to 2 for free solitons of any amplitude. One can see from the figure that the values of epsilon become very large when the solitons interact. They grow if the number of solitons increases. A large number of solitons with close velocities leads to a long time of interaction, and that explains the appearance of plateaus uh, in the dependencies of statistical moments. Examples of the numerical solutions corresponding to the focusing of solitons with close amplitudes are shown in the figure below. 
when the number of solitons grows, solitons grows uh, there appears a decrease in local maxima and an increase in the amplitude of the solutions uh, within the values uh, between the humps. That leads to a manifestation of the smoothing effect. Accounting for a great uh, number of solitons leads to a further smoothing of the solution and modification of its peripheral part. Presumably, in the limit of a large number of solitons uh, with amplitude which decay exponentially, uh, they focus into visually one half profile for any parameter d. The discovered statistical property of ensembles of a large number of unipolar solitons actually has a much broader application beyond the KDV framework. For instance, the same arguments can be applied for, uh, to the modified cortivector freeze equation. It has a different associated scattering problem, but as other integrable systems, so it possesses an infinite sequence of conservation integrals. Unlike the case of the classic Artivik de Fries equation, there are two possible polarities of the solitons for this equation. If the, uh, if the similarity parameter of the Artivik de Fries equation becomes large, then to the leading order, the conservation integrals are proportional to the statistical moments. Thus, when the nonlinear term in the equation dominates over the term of dispersion, one can directly obtain the relative decrease of statistical moments in the case of even orders. These estimates exactly coincide with the ones uh, of the cortex de Vries equation. Moreover, we have checked numerically that odd orders of statistical moments satisfy this relation too. At the same time, this approach doesn't allow one to estimate the statistical moments in the case uh, of simultaneous collisions uh, of solitons with different signs. From the direct numerical cal calculations, uh, it follows that in the course of collision of MKDV solitons with alternating signs, the similarity parameter decreases. Uh, therefore, its discrimination of terms, uh, which constitute the conservation integrals, does not occur. Since phases of solid uh, solutions uh, are not affected by the science, uh, the synchronous collisions uh, of uh, solitons with alternating polarities formally leads to the creation of a dense soliton state, as in the case when solitons have uh, the same signs. However, the statistical moments of the focusing solitons of different signs uh, change rapidly in contrast to the case of unipolar solitons. The concept of small dispersion limit can be employed in analyzing statistical moments of the complex cartier de Vries equation as well. Uh, its solutions are related to the solutions of the modified cartier de Vries equation by means of the mu transformation. The balance of terms in the mu transformation is controlled by the similarity of parameter delta of the modified cartier de Vries equation. Uh, it quantifies uh, the contribution of the nonlinear term with respect to the imaginary term of dispersion. Thus, the real part effectively dominates uh, during the focusing of solutions. This provides an estimate for the statistical moments of the, uh, of the complex cortivec de Vries equation. At asymptotically large times, solitons of the uh, modified cortivec de Vries equation are mapped to the solitary solutions of the cortivec, um, complex cortivec de Vries equation. And since the imaginary phase does not affect the values of statistical moments, we can get the estimate for these solutions too. The conditions of synchronous collisions correspond in some sense to the maximum compression of the soliton field. Therefore, to describe the states, one can use a quantity called the soliton gas density. Traditionally, it is defined as the ratio of the number of solitons in the interval to the length of this interval. The statistical characteristics of the soliton gas, uh, such as the mean of the solution and the mean of the squared solution, are proportional to the density. Thus, the dispersion of the solution can be written in terms of density and spectral parameters. The non-negativity of the dispersion leads to the definition of the critical density, uh, its maximum allowed uh, value. It is quite natural to relate the time uh, interval of strong compre compression of solitons 
uh, when certain uh, statistical uh, moments are frozen uh, with a state uh, of critical density of solitons. For a fixed number of solitons, the critical density corresponds to the minimum effective region of localization of the soliton field. The length of this region, L critical, can be expressed from the density definition and written exactly for a given distribution of soliton amplitudes. For a large number of solitons with amplitudes uh, distributed uh, according to a geometric progression, uh, this value depends only on the soliton uh, amplitude distribution parameter. As the parameter D approaches unity, uh, the value of L critical increases indefinitely. This result agrees with the considered picture of the 20 soliton interaction. It can be seen then uh, at the moment of focusing, uh, the solitons occupy a large uh, region of space uh, due to the manifestation of the repulsion effect, effect of solitons with closed amplitudes. The part of the solution which is included in the critical region uh, obtained by the formula above uh, is marked by red. Thus, the obtained value of a critical uh, is half as large as the apparent localization region of the soliton solution. It can be concluded that uh, the values of a critical give reasonable estimates for the focused wave size. Let me draw some conclusions. Uh, during synchronous focusing of a large number of KDV solitons with closed amplitudes, there appear long time intervals of uh, quasi stationary behavior of the statistical moments. Uh, this happens due to the effective smoothing of the wave field, uh, which is explained by the great, uh, great ratio of the nonlinearity versus dispersion parameter. The analytical expressions for the reduced values of all high order statistical moments are obtained. They are in good compliance with the numerical solution. The concept of strongly nonlinear uh, wave states is employed in order to estimate the statistical moments uh, of the ensemble of unipolar KDV and MKDV solitons. The broad applicability of this result to other in integrable systems is further, further anticipated. However, the presented approach doesn't allow one to estimate the statistical moments in the case of simultaneous collisions uh, of solitons with different signs. And the intervals of quasi-stationarity of the uh, statistical moments are associated with uh, situations when uh, the critical density of soliton gas is realized. Uh, the analytical estimate of the minimum size of the region occupied by the soliton field, uh, which falls from this assumption, is in reasonable, reasonable agreement with the exact solution. Thank you for your attention. That's all that I wanted to tell you today. Okay, thank you. It was very interesting. So now we have time for questions. Maybe uh, someone wants to add some comments or uh, ask questions. We are not. We are not. You are, we are not numerous. Yeah, <laughs> there are just two person uh, outside the community of of the offers. Uh, probably I, I am as the offer one of the offers. Uh, we'll 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 just uh, say say two words of of a comment since this uh, presentation will be recorded. That this uh, work may be a little bit complicated for presentation. I mean, uh, due to the uh, te technical. Uh, well, uh, well, technically, it may be a little bit, uh, uh, well, not not to, not easy to get from the uh, first glance, especially if you are not a, uh, not an, uh, not a specialist. But the funny thing that it is conceptually uh, quite simple, especially when you have already obtained the result, and it's uh, due to this um, due to this um, uh, well point, it is uh, quite interesting and, and beautiful and actually we are happy that we could publish these papers and uh, also that the results are applied not only to one equation not only to kdv equation but to some more equation which we just uh, uh, okay could show but we uh, okay we okay the the equations which can be analyzed in this way uh, we are probably more 
and uh, also that we derive uh, or maybe we inter introduce the uh, slightly different concept of the sim similarity parameter which is maybe not uh, traditional for kdv equation and it allows us it allowed us to obtain a new results and probably an application to other equations it will be fruitful as well well thank you okay thank you so um actually we uh have a lot of time and uh, 